What's up you guys, Sambo here. Welcome back to another episode of City Fix. I wasn't going to do another one straight away, but I just found this submission and I thought, you know what, let's just do one anyway. Now, if you'd like to send me your city, please do. You can just upload it onto the Steam Workshop and you can either put my name in the title or the description and that's an easy way for me to find it or you can send it in the comments below or on my Instagram. Now, for future videos, instead of just doing um, traffic management, usually using the traffic manager mod, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Um, but in the future, I want to kind of go more towards like what I did in the last episode where I completely redevelop a whole area and just, yeah, kind of demolish everything and just start it again for you guys. So if you do have an area that is not working so well, whatever it may be, um, maybe I can redo it for you and hopefully um, that'll be a lot better for you. So today we are in a huge city called Portburg. It has over 200,000 people and sometimes the traffic is really bad and then it goes away. So yeah, there's a few things that we can adjust in this. Some of them just small intersection things, some of them along the highway and um, there's also some other hmm, questionable choices that we can look at but it is a huge city so there's i can't really cover everything but anyway if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and um, give this video a like if you would like to see more of these and is that going oh, i thought it was going really low oh geez okay let's pause and let's dive into it actually first of all traffic percentage is 61 percent, so it's probably one of the better cities that we've seen on city fix I want to start with this big stack interchange right here. Um, there's a few little things that we need to adjust. So we have the usual, um, like you've kind of done it, but you haven't done it. So I'm like, what are you doing? You shouldn't have this lane go into that one because then obviously it's going to disrupt that traffic. So give them their own lane coming in. Actually, what is going on here? This one go over here. This one shouldn't go there. Okay. And then that one so it should go there okay so you had the four lanes but why is it all crisp oh my god oh as long as they can flow in easily annoying i just hate how the ai does those annoying lane changes and then over here as well we have the third lane coming in but they kind of need a little bit more space so we're going to give them some more extra lanes so we'll just update it to four du -du 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 and hopefully that'll give them some space to kind of merge. I'll just clean up this one as well. So doing what we just did before, this orange one, excuse me, thank you. Click you on there. Um, is there a lot of annoying, oh my God. Okay, well, we'll also downgrade this lane right here. So we have two lanes coming in, but that's a little bit too much. So we'll downgrade that into one. And how many lanes do you have here? You have th four going along. So we don't really need four. So uh, that one. So since you have these ones breaking off here, then it can go back to three lanes. And then when this one gets added back on, then you go back onto four lanes. You know what I mean? So keeping it nice and simple. Um, we have traffic lights. Oh, traffic lights on the roundabout, really? time traffic lights hey yeah you don't really need that i mean sometimes traffic lights do exist on roundabouts roundabouts but uh, i just think why you don't really need it so we can downgrade this to one lane as well that's uh okay we'll just see how that goes we also have an issue here why are you making them cut in front of other cars you have this extra lane here like don't do that because that's what's causing all of your issues. There we go. See, look look at the difference that makes already just by giving them their own actual lanes. That's what I keep saying. Like, give them their own lanes instead of cutting um, other cars off. That's really not going to be very effective, especially in the game. Like, it's, it's just not good if you're cutting other cars off. Now, we have a traffic issue up, to he up here. Let's follow it along. What's going on, you guys? Hi, what's going on here? What's going on? We have some annoying little lane changes. Actually, let's downgrade that to one lane as well. 
just to keep it simple, you know what I mean? We don't always need to have more lanes. Why are they slowing down here though? What is you doing? Wow, look at that. Jesus. She big. She big. Lots of big buildings. Now, they're zooming along the side here, so I assume that made it better. Where is this extra lane going? Okay. Well, I suppose that's all right. Uh, but most of them are going off. So... Uh, but where are they all going? That's the question. They're not going off here. They're not going off here either. They're all going up here. And then they're going in this tunnel. What is the tunnel situation? Do, do I even want to look? Okay, guys, I'm going to zoom out. If I have a brain and use them, it's probably because of tunnels. Oh. 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 <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It just... Oh, mm, it's just a little overwhelming when you first look at it. Anyway, they're coming over here, which I guess is okay. Um, they're going over here... Some going on here, some going over here. I guess this is the industrial area. No, I think it was fine. What I was going to do is give them a direct lane from here over to here, but we're basically already doing that because it's underground. It's just a large amount of traffic, but as long as it's flowing, all right. Ah, oh, these lane changes again. Please stop. They, this one can go right and also straight ahead. It's like, it's like, really? Like, what are you doing? Excuse me, donut truck. What are you doing? Why are you... Who gave him his license? Take it away, honestly. Take it away. If the um, the lane changes were smoother, like there would be such a difference in the game. Now we also have something going on over here. Here we go. Oh. All right. All right. I see. I see. First of all. What is this? What is going on here? Let's make... Uh, <laughs> I need to make this at least look a little bit better. Um, ex excuse me. Can you please become a nice little roundabout for me? Or Is that alright? Oh, we're getting there. Getting there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh my god, these, oh, oh my god, that's steep as well, oh. Alright, what I might do here is just casually move <laughs> that up a little bit. Um, we're going to elevate the road coming down. So this part right here, great, it's great. And then we are going to flatten it out. So hopefully we can fit, oh, i have to move that up a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully we can fit something underneath. I don't think we can, actually. Alright, done what I could. So, keeping in with the ugly design, I mean the lovely design, um, I just reduced the amounts of, for example, uh, this traffic here. Instead of them cutting across this intersection, they can go around underneath. Um, cars coming over here, wanting to go the other way, they can go around and back on quite hilly but the whole map is quite hilly the amount of traffic here i can't really do much about it because it's just the amount that's oh it's just the amount that's coming in um the flow is still it's going in and out i guess the only i guess could i reduce the budget like does that is that how it works could i go like that and then maybe there'll be less trucks but yeah i th not really much I can do about that, I don't think. I can remove the intersection here as well, so I can flow straight through, like like it's nothing. So at least that's something. Is, did a pedestrian? Excuse me. You gotta you got you have a nice pedestrian bridge right there, and then you have to just run across the road. Ugh, so rude. You know what, you guys? Let's <laughs> let's actually scrap this. See ya. Bye bye. Um, I've actually moved it to the other side. So, uh, just quickly, there's already a lot of existing traffic here. So, obviously, mixing in more traffic, it's going to be, it's going to be a nightmare, and we just don't want that. So, it's, there's still going to be some traffic, traffic coming from the cruise ship. But I've actually just moved it over to here. Um, there was already a, an ugly, 
ugly um, highway entrance exit ramp thingy. So in, it already has direct access into the industrial area as well. There's an industrial area here. So we just put it over here. There's not really any traffic or anything interfering with it. I may or may not connect it here as well. Oh, I suppose I can just connect it up. Just to give them that extra option if they want to... Oh, well, it's a bridge for some reason, but they can go across here. That is so steep. Oh my god, that's that's a cliff. But yeah, um, all that traffic will slowly disappear. They'll start coming over here. Hopefully, it will work better. I just need to adjust this down here. We need some water. We got some power. Here they all come in and out. Um, I don't have the mod on to change the direction of this actual road segment here, but they seem to be going straight in, straight out and not really having any issues with that. So that is good. That will clear up that area. It will be a little bit hectic over here. I admit that. Well, you guys here can probably give way. There's not much traffic coming from you. And then um, we'll just allow them to go through faster. But anyway, the highway is looking a lot better. That's, oh, this is actually looking really good as well. Okay, for some reason we have a huge influx of vehicles over here. So I'm thinking actually let's make this road, which one is it? They're using the boulevard. Let's make this one an off ramp to turn it that way. There we go. And then we'll just fix this up. So it's just a simple, um, these guys can go straight ahead and then they can use the traffic lights if they, they can use these ones. Now, down here, okay, well, it's kind of going away, but then it goes up here. Why are they waiting? Okay, so then they're going up here around. There's these traffic lights here. Well, what we might do here is remove this traffic light and then, did that remove it? No, it did not, that one. And then these guys can just give way because there's not really much coming. And then they go up here, then there's some more waiting time. Let's just do the give way thing again. There's not really much traffic here anyway. Um, they are going all the way up here, up here, up here. I'm guessing it's going to the highway. Yeah, it's going to the highway. All right, all right. And then it goes, oh. What is the angle, by the way? All right, so here we have a bit of the same issue. Um, two, uh, let's downgrade that to one lane, actually. We don't need that many lanes, I don't think. And, 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 two lanes for you. And then we'll do the lane controls again. And they should flow in a lot faster. And as a result, that will clean out this area up along here. I just, I just can't even deal with this layout. Like, I just, I, I can't, I just can't look. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, good. That cleared up that area. It's amazing how just adjusting the lanes, it can make such a huge difference. Okay, suddenly we have a lot of trains down through here. Uh, so we have the passenger train station. And then the cargo one here. Okay, so we can just simply ban the, which one is it? If I click on it. So I can just ban the cargo from this one because they have this outer lane through here. I'll do the same for, oops, do the same for here. So it's that one and that one. And then for here as well. And then by doing this, it'll pretty much just force the cargo to go up here. Oh, that's the funicular train. It should force it up there. No, excuse me. That should stop them. So all of them should divert up there. Uh, I noticed this person has done the second lane for the cargo trains anyway. So just had to utilize that. So that was just through the vehicle restrictions mod. Actually, you guys, I think that's kind of it. When I first opened the city, there was a whole bunch of things going on. A lot of um, traffic jams and like I was I actually thought like, damn, this is going to be a good video. But I am looking at it now and there's really not much going on. So we fixed up a few bits with the highway, the train lines and just basically moved the cargo train uh, harbor over there. But other than that, 
there's really not any um, other issues going on. So apologies for that. I d yeah, like I said, I thought there was going to be a whole lot more in this video. But anyway, um, I guess I'll end the episode here since, th since there's really not much else to do. Um, so for the next few videos, I basically want to do a city renovation type style series so basically just send it in your city if you want something completely rebuilt so if you're not sure what i mean just go check out the last episode and um, that'll give you an idea of the type of thing that i want to do instead of just doing small traffic fixes let's do something really big and grand that will really help you guys anyway thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys